So let us look at 2020 paper 1, which is GCE. Okay? Say uh, in the diagram below, A, B, C, and D lie on, on the circumference of the circle with center O. So the center of this circle is what? Uh, it's O. Then we have uh, the points A, B, C, D, which are on the circumference. These are points on this circumference. Hence, these are the four points making up our what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. So what is formed by these four points, which is uh, A, B, C, and D, is what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? A cyclic quadrilateral. So a cyclic quadrilateral, we're talking about a quadrilateral which touches uh, four points of a circumference. Okay? Which touches the circle on what? Four points. So this quadrilateral, it is touching a uh, circle at point A, B, C, and D. Okay? And you have center what? Center O. Then we are going to say, calculate angle BOD. We want angle BOD as the first uh, question. Okay? BOD. Where is BOD? So I can find where BOD is. So BOD. This is what they want us to find. Okay? BOD. Which is the angle at the center. This angle. This is what they want us to, to find. Okay? B O D is what you want us to find. So now we know that uh, the angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. The angle at the center is twice the angle uh, on the circumference. So if this angle is let's say uh, 2x, okay? Let's say this angle is what? It's 2x. This angle is going to be what? It's going to be x. So if you want to find this angle, just multiply 2 times this angle, which is x. So just say 2 times 47, which, which gives you what? Is it 94? So this is the angle B or D. The angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. Now, the angle on the circumference is 47. So if uh, we want the angle on the center, or at the center, you just multiply the angle at the circumference, which is 47, multiplied by 2. You get this angle. So the same. So question A. They are saying find angle B O D, which is angle O. So it's equal to, you just say, 2 multiplied by angle B A D. 2 multiplied by angle B A D, which is angle A. So you say it's equal to 2 multiplied by what is angle B A D? It's 47. So 2 multiplied by 47, you get our uh, 90, 94 as the answer. So this is our angle B O D. This is angle B O D, it's what? 94 degrees. So this is 94 degrees. Now let us move on. So this one we're saying, you see, 94 degrees. Then the other one, question B, it's saying, calculate angle. O B D angle O B D O B D is it O B D uh, is it O B D is this the angle they want the angle they want O B D okay angle O B D this is the angle they want this angle angle O B D this is the angle they want so in this case what we are going to do is uh, look at this point. Well, this point is the center. So O is the center of uh, this circle. So O is the center of the circle. So any point, any point, any line which comes from the center of uh, the circle touching the circumference, it is a radius. So O, D, this one is so what? It's a radius. This one is a, it's a radius. Then O, B is also a what? A radius. So we have this one's a radius and this one's a radius. So if we were to get uh, this line and these two lines, we're going to come up with uh, an isosceles triangle. What I mean is, uh, it's like this and B. So let me come up with a triangle, this triangle. Okay, the one we are calling an isosceles triangle. Uh, this triangle, take note. Okay, so this is our center, which is O. Then, any line which comes from the center touching the circumference, the radius. So we're going to say 
OD syringes. Then this one, it is also coming from the center, going touching the what the circumference is what at point B. So O D it is what? It is a radius. O B it is also a what? A radius. So since this one is a radius, this one is also a what a radius. Okay? So these two lines are what? Are equal. Okay? So since these two lines are equal, these are the base angles. The base angles of this isosceles triangle are also going to be what? Are also going to be equal. Because there's a property which states are uh, the base angles of an isosceles triangle are, are equal. Okay? So remember angle B O D it's our uh, it's what 1994. So this is 1994 taken. And these are the base angles of this isosceles triangle. So what we have here is what we have here as well. So if this is x, this is also what x. This we don't know. You can put any variable. Can you put y? Can you put z if you like? So we have decided to put x. These two are equal. These are the base angles of this isosceles triangle. So what we have here is what we also have. have here. So let us find this x. Okay. So how do you find x? We're going to say since we know that uh, the sum of interior angles of uh, the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we're going to say x plus x plus 94 is equal to 180. Okay, so we're saying x, this x, this angle, plus x, this angle, plus 90, 94, is equal to what's the sum? Uh, 180 degrees. So x plus x gives 2, x plus 94 is equal to 180 degrees. So 2x is equal to 180, yeah, sorry, 180 minus 94. So we say uh, 2x is equal to, what is 180 minus 94? So say 180 minus 94, what do you get? So 0 minus 4, it can't get 1. Uh, this one becomes what? This one becomes uh, 7, okay? Then, then add this one becomes 10. 10 minus uh, 4, you get a uh, 6, then 9, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 10. Uh, what is uh, 17 minus uh, 9, get what is it? 8, okay? So we have this one, okay? 9, 8, 8, 6, so we have got 86, 86. So for us, we will with x, divide both sides by 2, side by 2, so these are going to go. So x is equal to uh, 2 into 8, it's 4. Then 2 into this one, so it's 3, so we have got 43. So this one is 40, 43. This one is also at 40, 43. Okay, so we have 43, 43. 43 plus 43, you get uh, 86. 86 plus uh, 94, you get uh, 180, okay? Now, so I said this one is what? 40, 43 degrees. Okay? Now, what we want? Because they are saying, uh, find angle what? Angle? Angle O, B, D. So you can even say, uh, just to show up, you can say O, B, D is equal to X. Therefore, O, B, D is equal to what is X? It's 40, 43. So this is our answer. We can now look at uh, the last one, which is C. Saying, uh, calculate angle B, B, D, C. Uh, where is B? B, D, C. B, D, C. So they want us to find this angle. This is the angle they want us to find. B, D, C. Okay? And uh, this is the angle they want us to calculate. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first, I'm going to find this angle. I'm going to find, because I cannot find this angle, Minus me knowing this angle. I cannot find this ang this angle minus me knowing this angle. Okay? So I'm going to find this angle. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use the property of uh what's this? Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrato are supplemented. This angle and this angle C and angle A, they add up to 180. These add up to 180. These add up to 180. Now out of 180, we have this angle which is 47. So for me to know this other angle, I'm just going to say 180 minus 47. The angle I'm going to get is this angle. Okay? So what are we going to do? 
So let me find this angle. First, this angle, this angle, uh, B, B, C, D. So I'm going to say uh, B, C, uh, D is equal to 180 degrees minus 47. Okay, 180 minus what? 47. So let's subtract now. I uh, will say uh, 180 minus 40, 47. So 0 minus 7 can get what? So it becomes what? Uh, it becomes it what? 7. Then this one becomes what? 10. So 10 minus 7 get 3. Okay? Then uh, 7 minus 4 get what? You get 3. And 1 minus uh, 0 get so I put 133. So this angle is 133. So B, C, D is what? 133. This is our angle. So I say this angle is C, 130, 133. Okay? So having known this angle plus this angle, it's going to become easy now for us to know this angle because we know that angles formed in a triangle add up to 180. That is the sum of interior angles. So we have this angle, it's 133, and this is 128. We can easily find this angle by just coming up with this. Maybe we'll just get this triangle. Uh, this triangle is, it looks like this. Then we'll go this line, and we'll go this line, this side, okay? Where this is D, uh, this is B, and this is what? C, okay? So we can say this is 28, take note, 28. And this is what? 130, 133. And what we want? B, D, C. B, D, C. Meaning this angle. This is the angle we want. So let me find this angle and say a B, angle B, D, C is equal to, we know that uh, the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180. We are going to subtract what? 133 plus. Plus 20, you have this one, plus C, plus 20, 28. So you say B, D, C is equal to 180 degrees minus, you can add these two and say uh, 133 plus 28, what you get? Plus 28, we know uh, this plus this, what you get? You get 11, 11, so 1, carry 1, then. 3 plus what? 2 plus 3 get what? 5. 5 plus uh, 1 get a 6. Is it okay? Then uh, what is 1 plus this one? You get what? You get a 1. So we have 160 what? 160. 161. So you can now subtract and say, finally you can say 180, 180 minus 161. Okay? And say uh, 0 minus 1 you can't get 1, so it becomes uh, 7, so it becomes 10. 10 minus 1 you get 9, and then 7 minus 6 you get what? Uh, 1, so you get 19. So B, DC is equal to 180 minus 161, you get uh, 19, what? 19 degrees. So this one is equal to what? 19 degrees as the answer. Five months. Okay. You're telling me. Hold on for a minute. You're telling me right. So we should put it together.